Hello, my name is Garrett Zundel, and I'm a TAC engineer with the Data Center Routing and Switching Team. In this video, I will show you how to collect logs on the Nexus 9000 series switch. I want to clarify that this video is not applicable to Nexus 9000 series switches running the ACI network operating system. To start, let's open our Nexus 9000 series switch. Today, I'm working on a Nexus 93180YC EX switch. One of the most common requests you will receive from a TAC engineer is to collect a ShowTech support details output and to upload the file to the case. The reason TAC engineers often ask for this file is because it includes the vast majority of logs that a TAC engineer might need to perform offline troubleshooting of the switch. The way to create a ShowTech support details file is with the command ShowTech support details and then we'll send it to boot flash. You can name it anything you like. This will create the file and save it to the boot flash. This process can take more than five minutes to complete. The show tech support details file is a large file. We will save the file with the name test one today. We can verify that our file has been created by checking our boot flash directory with the command dir boot flash. If needed, we can then zip that file. To zip a file, we use the command gzip boot flash and then our file name. We can verify that our file has been zipped by checking the boot flash again. The file should now have a .gz after its name. This indicates that it has been zipped. We only mentioned the show tech support details in this example, but it works for any show command or log generated on the device. You can redirect any show command to a file on your boot flash and then zip any file in the same manner we did with the show tech support details. After we have collected and saved our file, we will need to transfer it off the switch. There are several methods you can use to do this, such as a file transfer protocol or using a USB flash drive. I will transfer the file using TFTP. We can do this with the command copy boot flash, our file name, TFTP, and then our TFTP server's IP address. After you have uploaded the file to your case, you can delete it from the boot flash. To delete the file from boot flash, use the command delete boot flash file name. 